tutorial we are going to do two things one is setting up a default page in IIS and setting up handlers one thing is about IIS that's configure the default document for this we will go back to the IIS server we expand default website bugzilla you will see something called default document double click that click on add and enter index.cji and click on ok since I have already added it here so I'm not setting it up again however in case if you notice this index.cji is added very end of the list in that case you can always use up and down um, options like move up and move down if you want to move it up just simply click on move so yes and if you want to move down click on down so in this case our index.cgi is existing the very top place which is okay if it is not you should always click on for if you assume say index is here index.cgi you can always click on move up and move down so in this case if it is there already on the top so we are not changing it the next step would be adding a handler mapping in this section what we have to go is go to the default website go to the <coughs> handlers click on add script map simply copy it from here star.pl I'll copy it, add it here. That is what the extension for the Perl module. Next is executable. I'm not copying everything, I'm just copying this percent s and percent s. Why? I'm not copying the entire path because our path and the document path is not the same. We're going here, click on this straight dot buttons, go to your C drive, strawberry. Perl, then type in here Perl, and you will see Perl.exe. Select that and click open. Hit a space and paste the value percent s percent s. Then name of the script. Copy it from here. Paste it and click on OK. I'm not adding it here because this is already added in my case. Again, going to the next screen. Now the next handler would be for .cgi, and again the same path, and the name would be CGI script map. Simply copy it from here .cgi. Come back on the IIS web server. Click on Add Script Map. Repeat the same thing enter the dot cgi percent s percent s come here search for pole module select that exe pearl dot exe click open hit the space and paste the value percent s percent s and give a name to it And click on OK again. In my case, it is already added. I'm not adding it again. Next option for our default website. Next would be for setting up the similar thing for Bugzilla application. Copy dot cgi start dot cgi or back to your IIS server. Click on your Bugzilla application under default website. Click on handler mappings. Click on add script map again, provide the extension .cgi, that should be star.cgi, simply copy from hypenax, click on three dot button, supply pearl.exe, click open, hit a space and paste the 
press up the keyboard from hyphen X C Bakshala copy the name Bakshala paste it here and click on OK in this screen again this is added by me already so not a, I'm not a to gap the next step is go to CMB run it as administrator with IIS reset we are restarting the IIS services So our IIS is restarted. But I'll be going to the next. Click on this Bugzilla application in IIS. Click. Or if you uh, have a browser Chrome or any other browser, simply go there. Type HTTP colon slash slash local host slash bugzilla and hit enter it's login click on login this is test at the gmail.com this is the administrator id which we created while setting up bugzilla now the password that was given here and login As done, so Bugzilla is completed, all installation done. Since we have not configured everything in the application, the dashboard is like welcome, and this is the message. And it's looking for you know setting up the uh, administration requirement, going to the parameters page, and all of that. That we can look into our different tutorial. In this tutorial, we have successfully completed Bugzilla installation. Thank you for watching.